morning folks hey the old fish one back with you today we got us two uh new berkeley crappy pro rods i got some old reels on them that i had at home on some other rods but we're gonna use a double jig rig i got eight pound test uh power pro braid <coughs> and then i got a swivel and two lines coming off of it with a lead uh in between the two jigs on the bottom line uh we're gonna try that and we also gonna try minnows on the tiny little 64th head uh i, I got a lead a swivel eight pound braid again uh two uh two lines coming off a of six pound floor carbon and with a lead above it with two tiny jig heads for metals can't beat them so what we're going to do is we it's cold it's uh in the 30s and wind blowing so it's cold but we're going to try this first spot here a little bit and we're going to put some metal on on here and uh we're going to put us a jig on. It's a bright, sunshiny condition, cold front coming in. Might not bite. I don't know. I can tell you this, there's some here. I, I rolled over it, and there's some here. Now, whether they'll bite, <laughs> we don't know. But, uh, hey, this is a deadly, crappy combination, these little hooks in a minnow. I can tell you that right now. Crappy day lure, uh, I think, or slab, slab tail jig makes these little heads. I don't know who makes them, but they, they are good little jig heads. I got a lead colored one today, uh, and I got a white one. Let's see if we can get on this spot. Lord in mercy, the wind is blowing, and uh, I think it's right out there. That's what I think, right out there. Let's throw it out and see if we can get a bite right quick with the minnow. Uh, I got it on spot lock. First thing it does is wraps my dog on a cord in a knot. I hate spot lock. Spot lock in my boat is useless. It does not work. With a uh, live scope, it'll twist your cord all to pieces. I don't know why it does. I just it just don't work for me. I got to manually operate this thing or it just don't work. And that's all there is to it. Already, I threw it out and it's kind of drifting around out there. I thought I had a bite. But we got the soft tip. What I like about these Berkeley uh, long rods, they ain't 10 foot long. They ain't near as long and bulky as that 12 foot. But, and it'll get you out far enough. But it's got a real sensitive tip on it. Perfect for crappy uh, and minnows. And cold weather for sure. But what I'm going to do, well, these might not bite today. I tell you, the cold front come in, sometimes you never know. Sometimes you got to hold a minnow on them for a long time. And with the wind blowing like this, you got to have total boat control to catch these fish. And it's hard to do sometimes. Let's get up there where they're at. I don't have a camera on my on my live scope. I need to buy another one, I guess. I need one more camera. Looks like There's more work to do. Aggravate with, but looks like I need one more camera. We're gonna chunk these jigs out there. See if they'll bite them. So far, I ain't even got up to the spot. We're getting close though right now. It ain't a lot of them out there. It don't look to me like. They uh, they scattered it here today. There ain't a lot of them here. Might have to go to our next little spot. I seen some when I first pulled over. There he is, got one. Hey, one done grabbed it. The G. Oh my. Nice one too. Good one. Huh? Good one. Good one. Come on in here, boy. Come on in here, boy. I love this crappy Berkeley. Uh crappy pro. It's light lighter. Uh-oh, got one on the minnow too. No, we ain't. We got the brush on the minnow. That is not good. 
golly bump. Control the motor is going with it. Oh man, I got too deep. I threw it out instead of dropping it out, and I know better than that. Dad, blame it, gonna mess my place up. We in it too. That's gonna break off it. What it's gonna do? And then my little jigs too. Oh man, we got a crappy. We got a stick on one and a crappy on the other jig. I can feel it shaking. Y'all bear with me. This wind's killing me already this morning. We ain't gonna get that out. I don't want to drop my doggone bumping thing in and scare them off right quick. So we might have to sacrifice a couple of jig. Oh Lord, thought I had to troll the motor. But we might have to sacrifice a couple of jig heads. And I hate that too. I just tied them suckers up. Ain't gonna come loose. Ain't gonna come loose. Ain't gonna come loose. Might try to break it off. Let you break the whole thing off. Boy, that wind blowing. That come loose. I don't know how it broke. What it broke? It come loose. Might have broke everything. No, it actually come loose, and we got a fish on the other one. Y'all, that's luck, ain't it? Look at that. And it come off. It didn't break off. We got lucky on that one. Caught our fish. And, uh, and it didn't break off. We got real lucky. I mean, real lucky. So we got both our fish on the first fiasco, as I call that a fiasco. Y'all see it? We got two of them, they're not real big. Hey, we got lucky though on that jig. I felt that crappy hit the other one, the other, the middle. We got to get organized again here, folks. We might can't fish with the middle. Let's just try it with a jig a little bit. It's too rough. And it's hard to control both of these, uh, this boat and, and both of these rods right now. I'm going to just hang that out to the side. Let's get back up here and try to jig on it. Probably not scared them off now. But we caught two, so they bite. Not big, but crappy. Get back up here where the big girls lie. Glad y'all could be with me on another episode. We had an awful fiasco right there starting off. But hey, everything come out smelling like a rose. We got two fish out of it and we got our jig back. <clears throat> got lucky is what we got. Get back up here, see if we can find the honey, the sweet spot again. Boy, that wind blowing right in here, it is cold. My gosh, is it cold. I don't even see no fish now. Might be to run them all off. All right, folks. <laughs> Get all our cameras straight here. We, uh... <clears throat> We moved because it was too cold, too windy at the other place. Now it's probably too calm in this place. But anyhow, it's a lot more pleasant fishing here than it was where we was just at. For sure. Okay. What I want to do here lay it up there, is I want to get about 20 foot, 30 foot from these fish and flip it in is what we're going to try to do to them. If they're here. It might not be him. You never know with these fish. But it's, it's it's toasty in here, but the water is crystal clear. You can see about five foot deep. So you got to be real cautious. There's not any cloud cover today. And the fish are right out of here in front of the boat. Let's cast out there to them. You'll see right there on the fish find on the right side, that's the fish out about 30 foot away from the boat. Ain't many though. Right there. You see them. They're 30 foot away from the boat. Is where they at. We already got one on there. Oh, and I missed him. We already had one. We got to stay off of them now. So I need to back up a little bit. I need to back up a little bit. And I had one and I missed him. I just took my money already. I felt him, but I missed him. <clears throat> First cast. 
If we can stay off of these fish and cast them, we can catch more of them. No doubt about that. Some of these minnows I'm using are, are toughest, some of them are shiners. Fella, give me some shiners, they're real big. So some of these minnows are really big. You see them right there. See the fish out there? Bunches of them. Throw it right out there and let it come down. You see them? Look at that school of fish in there. They ain't no brush, they ain't very little brush. They just hanging around out there. It's a staging place. See them in there? When that jig, I don't see my jig going down. Sometimes you can see it, sometimes you can't. Everything's got to be perfect. But you got to kind of figure, have the feel for it, is what I'm trying to say, if you can't see it. They holding down around 20 foot right there. I might have not got to them. Ain't got no bite this time. Yep, there he goes. One hit it. He didn't take it, though. He bumped it. There he goes again. They ain't wanting it. He's bumping at it, but he ain't taking it. We're not in the middle of them, but I got a fish looking at it. He ain't taking the middle. They ain't aggressive today. This cold front's got to mess up in this bright sunshine. There he goes. Got him. See what I'm talking about? Got him. Oh, my. Got him. Nice one, too. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Hey, day, I need my drag looser. That's a big one. Big old fish. Look at that. Oh, my. Look at that. Look at that. What a crappy. Huh? Look at that. What a crappy. Look at that. What a crappy. I'm talking a big one. I'm talking a monster. First off the bat, a monster. Look at that. What a crappy. Huh? That, my friend, is a nice one. What? Caught him on that little white head. Y'all see it? Look at the size of that crappie. Pound and three quarters. Look how thick he is. Could be two. These crappies are so thick in here. All right. We got a lot of water in the drum today, so we can cull it out. They'll be alive at the end of the day. Let's put some of them out there. What y'all say? I'm going to put a big one on there, see what happens. Let's put a big one on. Might catch a bigger crappie. Who knows? It ain't gonna hurt. We can try, we got them. <laughs> uh -oh, we don't get on top of them. We don't get on top of them. Right out there's where they are. We don't get on top of them. I need to I need to get back. Too close to them. Ease back. Got too close to them. Let's put it down here. <clears throat> I want to work the jig in something too. Boy, it's a lot warmer over here than it was on the other side where that wind was. Let me tell you, that wind about froze me. I, I couldn't stay there long. Right here's like another world. We can sit here. This would be a good place for slip cart. Those fish are just roaming around a big area here. You never know right where they're going to be. Let's put, the, let's put the jig out now. Uh oh. Don't we get the bite on the middle. What I like about this crappy pro is real limber on the end. They can hang down like it's no more than a cork. Pressure. They want minnows only. Oh, they have one on the jig. 
soon as I said something, one hit. Look at that. That's crappy, too. Good crappy. Look at that. Look at that. Good crappy on the jig. Isn't that dog on blue jig? That's what they're hitting. Blue ice. I'll be going. That joke is in the roof of the mouth. Hey, yes, sir. About a pound. Hey. About a pound. Uh oh, that one on the on the metal. One with bump in my metal. Probably a metal uh brim. Probably a brim. See if we can find where the fish is at. Back up under the boat. They back up under the boat and drift it down again. This boat is pulling. Wind blowing one way, current boat taking me in another. That's what's throwing me off. Boat control is the, is the uh, key ingredients to catching these crappers, putting it on them. Then you got to have what they want, but putting on them is, is the number one thing. There you go. There's a crappy. There's a crappy. I think. Oh yeah, that's definitely a crappy. That's a good one. That's a dipper. That's a dipper. These 10 foot rods are so much easier dipping these fish than that dog on 12 foot. I can tell you that much. So much easier. We didn't have nothing but one metal on and caught, and caught that one. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Hey, we got to put another metal on there. I got to go get some more toughy metals. These shiners mixed up in here. Ain't much to them. Oh, Lord, there goes another. We got a metal fish. Heck with these jigs. You got to take these jigs in. That's a big old fish. We got to take these jigs in and put metals out. That's a big one. That is a whopper right there, folks. Unless it's two. If it ain't two, that's a big old fish right there. He got this rod bent down, son. He got this rod bent down. We won't be lifting this one. I can assure you that one. Oh, Lord, what a crapper. Oh, Lord, what a crapper. I don't want a big old cracker. I'm talking a monster. I'm talking slab, son. I'm talking big. My God, read about them and where? Crappy magazine. Look at the size. <laughs> Folks, my camera went off and I caught this big old crappy. Look at the size of that crappy. Two pounds. Huh? I mean, a good one. What we need to do is get our little brown rod out with another metal and put our short rod out with metal. There he goes. Finally got him to take it. Out of all that time, setting there, setting there, setting there, finally took it. Beats anything I've seen. I mean, big crappers, too. Look at that. They in there. They just don't want it. That's all there is to it. They just don't want it. Look at that pound and a half. Huh? Pound and a half. I'm telling you. Pound and a half. Be something I was saying. Well, good morning, folks. Whoa, it's cold. I'm telling you, it's cold. Let me show you what we're going to be using. We got a uh, Crappy Pro C-Class, Crappy Pro C-Series Berkeley 10-foot rod with about <laughs> about six inches broke off the tip. I'll put another eye on it. Uh, you want a fine, fine limber tip most of the time for crappies when they don't want to bite. You don't want any kind of 
uh, tension. When they, you can see that tip go down, he won't feel any pressure. This is a little bit stiff because it's been broke off. I got some new ones coming for crappy with metals. Uh, it's a necessity. The long rod, uh, the uh, ACC crappy stick is a wonderful G, uh, rod. It's just heavy. I got the 12 footer and the end's a little stiff for me for live bait. Perfect for jigs. Perfect for jigs. And uh, hey, It'll be perfect for them catfish with the cork along the rocks this year, too, because it's long. You can have that thing 8 to 10 foot with a cork. You don't use a slip cork on the rocks because if you do, the lead will get down in the rocks if you don't have everything perfect. And uh, I hang up. So I don't use much of a lead where it won't hang up, a real tiny split shot for catfish. But it'd be perfect for catching them big catfish because it's got some backbone, I promise you. The only problem is it's dipping the fish because it's so doggone long. But anyhow, what we're using today, uh, uh, these little tiny 64th jig heads I have found with a number eight hook in it, I think it is, it might be a six, but they work really well for these crappies with a minna. You go through the bottom lip up, and the metal works really well. I don't know when that metal goes to swim, it, it, it makes that little G head go back and forth. And you see it right there. It's little. I got a yellow one and I got a white one right now. And the white one seems to be catching more. I don't know. I guess it all depends on your water color, which does the best. We got semi clear water right in here. A little bit dingier up in here than it is the other end of the lake. Today we're starting at the opposite end of the lake. Just to see if we can catch some fish up here. I, I try to fish every other day or so on a on the same brush if I can. So we're looking for new areas today, <clears throat> and I have caught some up here, but uh, right now the water is way down, and that is not good for for my crappy fishing. I like it high, but let, hey, you never know. And all you can do is go fishing in this lake because the water might be high water might be low what i'm using above this lead here I'm, a jig here is about a number seven or, or a six i ain't sure which one that is lead a three ought to do good too uh but it don't seem to affect them if you fish it straight down you're holding it now if you're casting it you might want the three out a little bit lighter that it'll go down slower a little tip from the old fisherman. Well, we basically, here lately, last, like yesterday, they didn't bite cast it. You had to hold it right straight on them, straight down until it bit. And that's probably where you're gonna be today because they probably ain't gonna be active. All right, right there's some fish coming up. You see it on the fish find I seen a couple right there. See them fish? We're getting too close to it. Golly, went right over them. Went right over them, shouldn't have done that. Get some fish there. We didn't scare them off right, they're going over them. All right, let's drop it back there. Put it about 20 foot down, lay the rod down. See what happens. We went right over the fish, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't want to do that, but anyhow, we're gonna put the jig out and the metal first. Yesterday they would not hit the jig only hit the minnows. That was yesterday though. You never know. You got to try every day or every brush. You got to do something different. The water's way down. We might get in the brush today dropping it like we did yesterday. It was up yesterday. You got to put it in his wheelhouse. There he is. There he is. Yep, they're close to the buoy. And that is on the jig. That's a good one too. Oh my, that's a good one. Look at that. I'm gonna lift him in the boat. Hopefully he don't come off. All right. These pounders, I don't have a problem lifting them in the boat. But uh, them bigger than that, I got a problem. Now he hit it good. There goes one on the middle. Look at that. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. You got to put it on him to catch him. Oh my, you got to put it on him to catch him. You can't put it close to him, no. You gotta put it on him. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. 
That's two right quick. Boom, boom. That's a good sign. They're not big, though. They're kind of a medium. Might have to cull them out later. <clears throat> Both of them same size is what they are. One on the jig, one on the metal. All right. Let's get set back up. We know now, we established two things. By throwing that buoy out, we know exactly where to fish, right by the buoy. Okay, let's get back up there. Exactly where the spot is. It's right by the buoy. Let's put some another minute on while we ease him back up there. What did he hit? That white darn head. I ain't lying, they love that white head. I got a mixture of shiners in here. I don't like shiners as good as I do toughies. That's all there is to it. Uh, they just, uh-oh, he fell off. No, he didn't. I got one that fell off in the bottom of the boat here. I reckon that's the one I caught the fish on. Come back in the box. Let's get back up here. Like I said, it's important to be right on the spot. You can't be five foot off. All right, we know now that the buoy is this spot. So let's drop it right back up. Right by that buoy. Go down four times. I get this wind blowing me, get this boat in position. I can lay the rod down and get my my, they already got a fish on it. Already got a fish on it. Oh my, already got a fish on it. Already got a crappie on it. Look at him, look at him. Oh, nice one. They're all the same size. Huh, white jig again. Oh man, he's bleeding. We got him in the gills. You gotta worry about throwing nothing back. I can't get it off. He got me in a dilemma here. We have to get needle nose to get him. No doubt. All right. See how far we done drifted away? Gotta get back up now. We got to get on the spot to catch them. Now that hit a big old shiner. So there you go. Hey, we'll hit them big old shiners. There he goes again. We got him now. There he goes again. He come back for seconds. Could not resist it. I think setting up the easy meal, couldn't resist it. I couldn't resist it. Look at that. Got him on the yellow here. All right. Y'all see it? Put another metal on there. We moved, boy, it's cold. I don't mind telling y'all, I'm a freeze. We moved over here to another little spot. I see some fish out there. We can get them back. There's a couple out here on this rock. Already got 
got him. Good one, too. Big one. Oh, my. Big one. I mean a big one. That's a big one. I'm going to slab to get in here. I'm telling you right now, yesterday I didn't take nothing in here. That's why you got to keep trying every day different places. You never know when they're going to be there. You hit the first one. Look at that. Two pound. Two pound slab. Uh oh. The camera ain't going. The camera ain't going. There he goes. There he goes. We got him. We got him. He come back and got it. Come back and got it. A good one, too. That was a good one. Great day. That's all you catch out here is big ones. I'll tell you that right now. I mean big ones. Slabbers. Yeah. Slabs. I would catch out here. Look at that. Look at that. Slab. Slab. We ain't got two cameras going. That big camera ain't going. I don't know what the world's wrong with it. Oh well. That's the one I need going too. All right, folks, let's see if we can catch one here. It's so cold, I can't even tell y'all how cold it is. I'm about to freeze. It's in the 30s and cloudy and windy. Breezy. Not really windy, it's just breezy. And that air is cold. Anyhow, hey, we out here trying. It's a miserable day. Low water condition is a problem. That's why the fish ain't wanting to bite right. It ain't the weather. It's the water, low water conditions, I think. And that water wouldn't be low. They'd be eating it up today. We got a good many down here, and we can see if we can get them to bite. He goes one playing with it. He's on it. We got him. We got him. It just takes them a while to bite them. They just don't want it. It's a problem. That's a good one, too. That's a good one. Hell, he ain't that big, but he's, hey, took him a while to bite it, but guess what? He'd get that big old money. <laughs> Darn big old shiner that got from the fellas the other day. What he get? Big old shiner. Thing's hard to hold. In this cold weather, hands is numb. Hard to do this. You gotta be a tough old uh oh. You got the brush. You gotta be a tough old sucker to do this. That's a fish. Oh. A fish bite that good. Get back up now. Let's get back up. I'm thinking I need to put two metal rods out instead of that jig. It's too cold to work that jig in a house. Just let them set. It's a better way to do it. What I'm thinking right now. Let's put these these metal back up here. Now I guarantee you pull my jigs down. You get it all tilt it down. Yeah, they pulled them down. Let's try that again. Gee. Look at that. Huh? 
Got him on jigging along, Ron. Go deal. Oh my, look at that. Come in here, boy. Come in here, boy. Where you going, troll motor? Sit in the middle. He got him. So I missed him. Damn, blame me. One at a time, fellas. One at a time. Not two at a time. One at a time. Y'all see it? Okay. There goes one on the middle. Got him. Oh, my. Got him. We might put these yokes in a feed in here. Look at that. They're smaller today, though, than they've been being, some of them. But hey, it is what it is. Right in there is what you need to hear. Got it. Boy, you thump that thing. Keep thumping that jig now. Nice one, too. That's a good one. That's a dipper. That's a dipper. That's a dipper. That's a dipper. Oh, my, that's a dipper. That's a metal tooth. I'm getting a metal tooth. Better hurry up and get this one out of here. Might need a net. wasn't going. We just caught a couple. I don't know if we got it on film or not. I tell you, it's hard to keep things going with these cameras. The camera will drive you crazy. Alright, let's see if the daggone cameras will work now. I'm having camera problems in this cold weather. Right, there's a fish already. Oh my. I threw that sucker out. Messing with the camera he's already on it. I didn't take long. That's a big one, too. That is a big crappy right there. He must have been waiting for it. That's a big one. Come in here, big boy. Come in here. Look at that, what a crappy. Three day. I, I threw it out, stood up, messed with the camera, and he was gone with it. Huh? Look at that. Got to love it. That sucker swallowed it too. It's all the way down his guzzle. Let me tell you, it is. I don't know if I can get that now. No. It's down in there. There it is, though. Hey, the metal's still living. Look at that. Look at that. What a crappy. Put it out and catch him dead on that. Uh oh. The metal fell off when it hit the water. Dad, blame it. Got to hate that. Somebody asked me why I keep that lid on that on that uh, barrel. I don't. I keep it on there because when I'm going down the lake, hit a wave, it splashes water all over me. Plus, it keeps the sun off the fish. Also, when it's hot and sunshiny, so that's why I got that thing. There's a pile of fish in here, folks. Oh, line's messed up. There it goes. See them fish? Look at them. Whole drove, just like it's been being. They stay in here. I'm telling you right now, you catch some, like more comes. I never seen anything like it. Let's see if we can get the jig out here and see if we can catch one with the jig. <laughs> there you go. Never. 
got him on the metal. Got a nothing on the metal. Oh my. Got a nothing on the metal. Big one too. Good one. Good one. Oh, he's hand size. He ain't as big as I thought he was. He's big enough. Good one. Give us another money on there. What y'all say? There's a small shiner right there. They might take him pretty good. If I can get him on there. Let's see if he'll take that small shiner. Who knows? The fish ain't that deep today. They kind of shallow. There's plenty of mud. I got all over the top of them. I didn't want to do that. I'm all over the top of these fish. That one on the metal. Got him. Got him. Got him. They ain't hitting the jig, but they hitting the metal. I'll tell you that much. Oh, Lord, that's a good one. That's a good one. What? That's a good one. Look at yonder. Hey, that's a dipper. That is a dipper. Two pound, pound and a half. That's a dipper. That is a dipper. Look at that, look at that, look at that. That is a good one. Hey, he didn't take my money neither. Look at that. That, that, that's probably close to two pounds. Them fish are thick. See how thick they are? I mean, they thick. That's a big fish.